Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mitch from We in Tennessee. Today's video, I, we're here. We've been talking about being in Tennessee for the longest time and it's just crazy to actually be here. And it is hot and it is humid. What's funny is um, people have said that like two weeks ago, the weather was perfect and all of a sudden this heat wave came in. So it is crazy. Um, as soon as I get out these glasses will probably fog up um, we had the air conditioning going on so it was super cold I get out and they're just condensation everywhere anyway this video is gonna just be an update and then the four things that I have learned about Tennessee only being here for four days um, so the update is you can see in the back here um, we loaded up that U pack and we had to load up the cars because we just I don't know if I could go back, I would change the way I packed the U pack. We could have put more stuff in there and we loaded up the U pack and then realized, hey, we had a lot of stuff in the house to still put in the cars. So, the number one thing that's really tough right now is living or driving with all of this stuff here in the back. Um, it's really tough uh, to just live with all this stuff in there. You know, you're, you're, did we forget this? Where's this? Oh, it's in the car and we have to dig for stuff like that. So that's been one of the tough things. Um, the other tough thing is just living out of a suitcase. Luckily, we're at this Airbnb where we actually can spread out and not have to live in a hotel. Um, it, it's, it does the trick for now. Um, but obviously having a permanent location would be awesome. But for now, we're just luckily, you know, we're just happy to not be driving hundreds of miles a day and lucky to not be living in a hotel. So it's nice to be in this Airbnb. We're in Knoxville right now. So the four things I can say I've learned about Tennessee for being here for four days is number one, the driving is definitely not as I expected. The driving is actually a little crazier than what we left in California. I mean, people are just zipping everywhere, um, cl following close behind people. Um, I don't know. I just thought it would be a slower type pace, but right now it's just people are zipping by everywhere. And that's something I did not expect. Uh, the second thing I've learned is that the roads are pretty narrow. Um, I mean, the highways are obviously the same as highways, but when you start to get in these residential areas, the roads get pretty narrow and they're pretty steep too. Um, that's just something I've, was kind of shocked me. Um, trying to maneuver and drive where, you know, you're just, it's two lanes and you're just trying to get by each other. So yeah, that was pretty, pretty interesting. Something I had not expected. Uh, the third thing I would say that I've learned about Tennessee is the people are definitely, um, you know, they're welcoming, they're nice, uh, but you know, it just depends where you go. Um, obviously you can't have nice people everywhere, um, but we've been in grocery stores, we've been um, different places, restaurants, and um, from what we can tell, we, we love the welcoming people, um, but we've seen some crazy stuff too. I do have a thing for California. We went to a McDonald's and we're waiting in line to get out of the McDonald's drive, you know, drive in. We're trying to get back on the road. And this California guy, like, is trying to get by us. We're in a line trying to get out. And he's screaming and cussing at people. And I'm like, oh, gosh, California people just made us look a lot better, you know, in that situation. Um, so, wait, am I on three? Can't I can't remember which one I'm on. Um, but oh, three, the people, um, definitely the people we, we've come across have just been so welcoming and nice. And then the fourth thing is we've just loved the things we've not seen before. We've loved the fireflies. Um, you know, the, we, we don't normally see that in California. That's an East coast thing. So when it's just, just about dusk, we see the, the lights flashing on the grass. We've seen a cardinal already. We've, I, we don't see cardinals on the West Coast. So only the trips that we've taken to the East Coast have we seen cardinals. So it's really cool to see some of the things that we've seen. Um, 
And then definitely Google Maps has been our friend. Um, everything. It's just stressful to drive because we just don't know where everything is. So for those of you that are going to be coming to Tennessee and just have those, those Google Maps ready because everything that you need to find, you're having to punch into your phone. And it's really stressful to drive in a new place when you're looking for something new. So um, those are just been the tough things, but we just understand that it's going to be tough getting started here. We have to just adjust and acclimate. And so we're just doing the best we can. So those are kind of my takeaways from Tennessee at the moment, but we are here. So the update is I've had all of my interviews and I'm just waiting to see what job is going to be offered to me. Um, I'm definitely, um, that's kind of the big deal because when the job comes, then we can start to look for our permanent, you know, location or where we're going to live. So I'm keeping my cross, uh, fingers crossed waiting for that. Okay. All right, guys, I'm here. I can't believe it. I mean, we were pinching ourselves going, wow, we're actually here and out of California. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I am dying in this car, so I'm going to end this video and get out of here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video.